What is going on guys? It is Chris from HatCreekPhoto.com and this is episode 2 of Edit That Photo. We are in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4 and today really what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of go over some basic features again. We went over some of the basic features of what I like to do in Lightroom in episode 1 but I'm going to try and cover them a little bit better here in episode 2. So let's get started. This is an image I took last weekend for a client out at the Botanical Gardens here in Austin, Texas. Lovely, lovely place. I recommend you check them out if you're ever in central Austin. Just something fun to do. And so, first things first, like I said in episode one, it's now that white balance. First thing, doesn't actually look too bad right now, but let's play around a little bit. I didn't have a white balance card, so we're just going to have to play with it here see what it does. Let's try daylight. Eh, it's a bit warm. We'll bring that down a bit. Right about there. I like that a little bit better. Check out the difference real quick. See that we're just working with a little bit warmer stuff down here. See it in the skin tone. Just slightly. Get a little bit more yellow in the greens, but that's fine. And so then what we'll do here, like I said in episode one, Pump the contrast, that's my style, might not be your style, and that's totally fine. What I think it makes it look really great when you pump the contrast. You can see right here, especially in the eyes, look at that. Pop, just like that. One step, just in the contrast. Come back, zoom it out, raise my blacks, raise my whites, you know what? Pull oh, that's a bit much on the blacks. Pull that down. All right, step one down, white balance, and then get the contrast and blacks and whites done. Easy stuff. All right, now looking at my histogram, I'm seeing I'm getting a little bit of, you know, a little bit considerable stuff. It looks like it might be a little bit overexposed. So I'm going to pull back a little bit, just a teeny, teeny bit, uh, right about there. And I'm liking that. You still get a little bit of white here, not blown out, but it looks good. It looks good. It looks like nice, nice highlights. All right. And just so you know, in case you can't see, I just took it down about negative 0.24 here on the exposure. Not a lot, just enough to kind of mellow it out a bit. All right. Step number two. Unless we count exposure as step number two. In that case, this would be step three. Doesn't really matter, but we'll go with three. I'm going to go down a little bit on the clarity. I'll zoom in so you can see it. Just go a little bit on the clarity. Soften it up a bit. Soften it up a bit. There we go. Not bad. Easy stuff. Lightroom 4, making it easy for you. Alrighty. Scrolling on down. Here we go. Like I said last time, if you want to sharpen in Lightroom, more power to you right now. I feel like doing it because I don't really want to have to do it in Photoshop. And so I'll mask it all the way up, which just does the outlines like that. And I'm going to raise it up 35. Looks good. Now let's see, we shot at ISO 400, 130 millimeters, f2.8, 640th of a second. So no real need to do any noise reduction. Nah, not really. You could get kind of picky with it, but nah, no worries. And let's see, lens correction, do we need to do anything here? Nah, I don't like that. You see a little bit of vignetting here when you play with the lens correction, but you know, uh, I don't know. I don't think that looks any better. I can see it looking a little bit better. Nah, I might be a little bit lying. I might just pull the distortion down a bit. I kind of like the lack of vignetting. There we go. Make her head look normal. Just like that. Pull back a little bit. All right. I like that. Looks good. All right, guys. That was easy. Doesn't take long. Quick step. Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4 is a very, very cheap piece of software that you can get that really can really help you out if you're just getting started in, in photography. I really recommend it. If you can't afford 
Light, or if you can't afford Photoshop yet, because it is expensive, pick up Lightroom 4. It is fantastic. I'll show it to you here, the before and after. You can see it. I'll show you the eyes. Looks fantastic. You can see it right there. Zoom it out. Looks fantastic. Beautiful. All right, guys. See you next time.